Hello everybody, I'm Griffin with Electric Bike Report. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Burley Honey Bee Bike Trailer. This bike trailer doubles as a stroller, so it offers a lot of versatility. It is one of Burley's entry-level models, so it's more on the affordable side. And we're going to take a look at all of the features and see how this trailer feels behind you on the bike paths. Let's get into it. All right, so the Burley Honey Bee is one of the more popular options offered by Burley. And the good news there is when you're going with a Burley bike trailer, they've been, in, they've been around since the late 70s constructing bike trailers. And they've stuck around because of the quality of their construction and design, which is reflected in the materials that they've chosen here. And we'll dive into that a little bit more later on. Uh, overall, I see the Honey Bee as best for people who are looking just for that versatility. They want a, a bike trailer they can take with them to haul their kids around, to go out on those bike rides with them. Um, and this is more on the entry level side of things. So it's for people who aren't necessarily looking to get all of the uh, frills and features that come on the higher end models, but make no mistake, this is still a very good utilitarian type of uh, trailer that's gonna meet and check most of the boxes, uh, most of the needs and check most of the boxes for people looking at bike trailers. Overall, this is a two seat capacity, uh, so you can fit two kids inside, weighted up to 100 pounds total between them. This is all coming to you on a construction aluminum frame. It's quality construction. It serves as a roll cage as well. The handlebar that you see here will actually double when it's down in bike mode to offer even more added roll protection. So it'll keep kids safe and happy and comfortable inside. On top here, you have a polyester water resistant cover. that should help keep you dry if you get caught out in the rain. Uh, there is this vent ventilation system and mesh lining right here with a plastic uh, rain cover that comes down over the top so the kids can still see out but stay dry and of course in warmer drier conditions you can roll that plastic cover up and get nice uh, ventilation and breeze throughout. Now in addition to the water resistant um, material that they're using here you also have these side panels here which are UV resistant blocks up to 98% of UV light so it helps keep everyone happy and comfortable on the inside as well and then the kids get to sit in on this uh, hammock style seating inside with a five point harness system that will keep them comfortably and safely secure away in the trailer. Overall, there's a lot more and we're gonna dive into those features and take closer looks at what you get when you go with this model and see if it's right for you. All right, now we're gonna dive into a little bit about the performance of how this handles when you are hauling it behind you on your bike. First things first, setup is very simple and straightforward. All you have to do is attach the hitch to your rear axle. There are different ways of doing that depending on your axle type and the trailer does come with instructions that covers all those different axle types. Um, then you just secure the pin in place with the locking D-ring there. And then you have this nylon strap that wraps around the frame for added security, just so you know that it will stay attached to your bike at all times. And then once it's behind you and you're out and about riding around, it actually feels remarkably, remarkably smooth. Um, it's easy to forget it's actually behind you. As you're riding around, it follows you exactly where you would wanna go. You're still able to make fairly tight turns when needed as long as you're making them at slower speeds. Uh, overall, I was very impressed with how it felt when I got it out there on the roads. And I think that there's a lot to like uh, just from the overall construction and build of this bike trailer. Now, as I said before, this is one of their entry level models, but I think the thing that's consistent throughout Burley's lineup, at least from the different trailers I've tested, is the ride quality is very smooth across the board. So even though you're not spending as much for the higher end featured models, you're still getting just as good of a ride out of the Burley Honey Bee. Being as this channel is, of course, Electric Bike Report, we have it attached to an e-bike here. Uh, the recommended speed rating is 15 miles per hour. Anytime you're hauling kids in there, you definitely want to like stick to those speed ratings, which we've done anytime I've had my son in here. Um, but it handles very well at those speeds. And it can, without kids in there, you can go a little bit faster and it still handles just fine. Although I don't recommend you do anything too crazy with it. And at the end of the day, this trailer should be able to go anywhere a typical commuter or city bike would be able to go. It'll handle just fine on the sidewalks, on paved trails, and it can handle a little bit of light off-roading. These tires, tread pattern is decent. You can even upgrade the tires to a 16-inch fat tire, which will make them a little bit more off-road capable and handle a little bit better in sand and dirt. 
but just about anywhere you could reasonably go with your bike, you can probably take this trailer right behind you. All right, and as I mentioned before, one of the things that's really great about this trailer is it's versatile and it will double as a stroller. So if you get to where you're going and you decide you wanna just push the kiddos around and lock the bikes up, you have the option of doing that. Up here towards the front on the tow arm, there is a wheel that is always attached that uh, easily folds out of place when you're on uh, when it's attached to the bike and then easily comes down when you take it off the bike and are ready to put it into stroller mode. Um, it's very comfortable overall for you pushing it around. It's got this adjustable handlebar here which will help make sure you find the comfortable height for you and then you can just lock it into place. Um, overall it's got some good thought out um, features and qualities such as the storage compartment here that is located in the rear. Uh, there are some pockets here for you to store your cell phone or wallet or keys or whatever else. And then you have a very generously sized uh, storage compartment in the rear that can fit the blankets or picnic or whatever it is you're hauling that day. Um, as for how it feels when you're pushing it around, it feels like pretty good overall for, the, for a three wheel stroller. You notice a little bit the width, I think, as you're kind of turning left and right, but it's nothing that is too severe or anything like that. Overall, it's a pretty good way of transporting two kids if you got them and moving them out and about with enough uh, storage to take with you anything that you'd really need to. It feels a little bit different from your typical stroller setup, but for the versatility that you're getting in, in so much as you can attach this to the bike, it's overall a fantastic quality. Now from the point of view of the occupants inside, it's overall, it's got a lot of comfort qualities and I think will keep any kids that you put, are putting in here fairly happy. Um, the first thing that you're going to notice up front is this plastic rain cover right here. We have it currently rolled up to allow some like ventilation to come through the cabin, keep kids nice and cool on warmer days. Uh, but overall, they'll be happy with a good view up front seeing out. To, to detach this outer cover here is very easy. It's just a little buckle and Velcro system that you can pull that back. And when you have the rear brake here engaged, it locks that in, makes it fairly easy for kids to get themselves in and out without the uh, trailer going anywhere on you. Inside you'll find hammock style seating with a five point safety harness. Now up top here you'll notice this uh, mesh headlining. That's going to actually be pretty good for helping to accommodate uh, kids if they're wearing helmets in there, sort of fit alongside with their helmet. There's also some pockets here along the inside for storing snacks or any toys, keeping uh, those close by and keeping the kids happy. Overall I think it's actually pretty good construction inside. There are a couple of things that I wish they had on this. I do wish that there was a uh, liner here on the bottom to make it cleaning, to make cleaning it out a little bit easy. And also the seats that come on this don't have a lot of padding. That's not a huge problem as long as you're kind of sticking to mostly trails, uh, parks, just going up and down and around the neighborhood. I think the seats are going to be just fine. If you're looking at a little like heavier stuff, some heavier off-roading, there are other models of Burley trailers that come with padded seats and suspension that might be a little bit more uh, well equipped. But overall, I think this is actually very good for an entry level bike trailer. I think there's decent comfort in here and definitely still has the safety throughout. Now there are also some optional accessories that you can add on when you get one of these trailers that'll help make it more comfortable for the riders inside or kind of help you take it, the trailer where you want to go. You can get uh, different uh, snuggler options that'll help keep your kids warm. You can upgrade the tires to 16 inch fat tires if you're looking to take this bike a little bit more off-roading. And there's definitely some ways that you can further upgrade and further enhance your rides when taking out the Burley Honeybee trailer. There are also some, some additional safety lights that you can add that will attach to these hooks here in the back. They'll go along with the reflectors in the rear and in the front and some of the reflective taping on the side. And then last but not least, there is a trailer storage bag option if you plan on folding and putting the trailer away for some period of time. A little storage bag that'll help keep it neat and tidy in the garage. Now another great feature that comes along with the Burley Honeybee trailer is the fact that it uh, folds down and gets put out of the way pretty compactly and discreetly when you need it to. Um, it's very simple to do. All you have to do is open up the back flap there, pull on the two yellow uh, releases, and then push this bar forward. From there it'll just fold down right into place. You can pop the wheels off by simply depressing the yellow button in the middle and pulling the wheels off. Then you'll be able to store those wheels and the tow arm bar safely into the uh, storage compartment of the trailer and zip it all up and should be able to fit very simply and easily in the trunk of your car or stored away in the garage. Our final thoughts on the Burley Honeybee trailer is overall, while it might be one of the more entry level 
uh, trailers that Burley offers, it still feels like premium construction, quality, and ride. Overall, it's still, it feels safe, it feels great to use. While it's riding behind you on the, the bike, you barely notice it's there. It glides really smoothly across uh, paved surfaces and can handle a little bit of that off-roading. Uh, it works very well as a stroller. Between the two, you can definitely go out for lots of family adventures, taking the kids behind you on the bike and then pushing them around in the park. It offers a lot of really good versatility and the way that it folds down so compactly means you can take it with you just about anywhere you need to go. I do have a few minor gripes with it, but realistically, most of the things that I would ask to see fixed or upgraded they do offer that just on their higher end models. So at the end of the day, anything that I feel it's missing out on, be it like the floor mats or maybe some like slightly more comfortable seats, Burley does offer that. It's just on their upgraded models, such as the Burley Delight X. I'm very impressed with what they've done here. And I think that overall, it's going to be a, a bike trailer that meets the needs of anyone who's just looking for something basic that helps get them out and about doing more family rides going to the park or even if you need to drop the kids off at daycare before you want to commute the rest of the way on your bike good cargo options throughout both with the pockets inside and with the rear cargo uh, area as well makes it an overall very useful trailer where you can get out of it just about whatever you can imagine we're gonna have a full written review for this as well down in the description below. If you enjoyed this review and found it helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. And we will see you out on the next review.